Welcome to everybody and thank you very much to, to come for this conference. It's a very great joy for me to open this conference we prepared for you and with you. The goal of this three-day meeting is in respect to people, planet, prosperity, peace and partnership for the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. The part that religions and religious leaders can play in promoting peace, dialogue and common good. The event itself aims at initiating a dialogue between the religions with view first to recognizing the religions themselves, the inestimable contribution that they make to the realization of the SDGs. The imperative facing us is clear. We must up our ambition, we must accelerate our actions, and we must do it together. The cost of failure is that like we are driving 200 species to extinction daily, we could in a hundred years have pushed our species to extinction, violating every duty. The ancient Jewish sages understood the biblical commandments to cleave unto God and to walk in his ways to mean that we have to emulate the divine attributes, imitatio Dei. If the concept of what it is to flourish, what it is to be prosperous, is simply reduced to profit, simply reduced to scientism, simply reduced to exploitation, uh, then we are in uh, a lot of trouble. The world's religions, however, offer a different concept of what it means to live in prosperity. Believe me, you were not invited because you were in a, in a, in a mailing list, okay? So we, every single one of you is doing already something very, very good on development. What we need is to do it together. Please empower us and have faith in us to lead. Kids have a unique capacity to think beyond what is and to imagine what will be. Faith is not just something that you believe. Faith has to be something that makes a big difference for not just your life, but those around you as well, in a positive way. The UN and others don't always listen to the faith voices, despite that the numbers are so great. And so I think this gives a real uh, ample opportunity and audience for the faith voices to amplify their messages and to be heard and to be taken seriously. We have to transform everybody together. So all we can do is to see that we prepare the next generation. And that is through education and loving education with values and virtues. When we have an audience with the Pope, that gives me the feeling that he is a, a, a spiritual guide for this meeting. Parlare di sviluppo umano significa riferirsi a tutte le persone, non solo a pochi, e all'intera persona umana, non alla sola dimensione materiale.